Hey guys, welcome back to Skillway. I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded my last video on YouTube, almost like one year. And some of my subscribers were also asking me why am I not uploading videos on YouTube anymore. Actually, I don't want to bring up any excuses or anything because there is no use in it. Let's move on to today's video. In this video, we will learn how to control a servo motor using an Arduino and a push button. By the end of this video, you will learn how to rotate a servo motor just by a push of a button. But why this video? Servo motors are some of the most important and commonly used components in hobby projects. And Skillway is also planning on some future projects involving servo motors. So enough talking, let's move on to the video. Here I am going to use this Nangram servo which is a 360 degree rotating one with an Arduino Nano and this on off push button. We are going to use Tinkercad for explaining the wiring and Arduino IDE for the coding. Actually Tindercad is an extremely useful software in which we can do electrical design and we can also run simulation on it. After clicking on the circuit section of Tindercad, you can see a workspace like this. On the right side of the workspace, you can see a search button in which we can search any component that we want. First we are going to search for Arduino and click on it, just drag on to the workspace. Next we are going to search for our push button. So just type push button and there you can see a push button just click on it and drag onto the workspace. Ok after that we are going to search for our servo motor. So here you can see our servo motor just dragging it on to the workspace. Ok fine. Here each pin of the servo motor can be easily identified by pointing out with the mouse button. It's clearly indicated that ground, positive, signal. Similarly with the Arduino also, D4, D3, D2, every pin is clearly indicated which is really helpful while wiring. Next we need a power source, for that we are gonna search for battery, ok we got our battery and we are bringing it, ok let's keep it there. Now we can start the wiring, so first I am gonna start with the servo motor, I am gonna connect the signal pin of the servo motor with the D6 of the Arduino. So just click on the signal pin, you can see the wire coming out. Click on where you want to bend the wire, okay, here and here, now just bring it to D6. Next is the power pin, I am going to connect the power pin with the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Before that, I am going to change the color of the wire, I uh, will choose red. Okay, from the power pin to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Okay fine, it's done. Next I have to connect the ground pin of the servo the ground pin of the Arduino. For that I am going to change the color to black and from the ground pin the servo to the ground pin of the Arduino. Ok it's done. Now all the connections of the servo are done. Next we are going to connect the push button to the Arduino. The first pin of the push button is connected to the ground pin of the Arduino and the second pin of the push button is connected to the D7 of the Arduino. Ok, the push button connections are completed. If you want to change the color of the wiring, you can just click on it and go to the color options. Next we have to do the battery connections. For the positive wire connection I am going to use a red color and connect it to the 5 volt pin of Arduino and then the negative to the ground pin of Arduino. For that I am going to use black wire from the negative of the battery to the ground pin of the Arduino. So by that all our connections are completed, just take a look at the entire circuit. If you want to run the simulation on Tinkercad itself, coding option is provided on the right side. You can do the coding there and run simulation. But here we are not gonna do the simulation right now, we are just doing this to understand the wiring. We will do our wiring on our breadboard accordingly. So we have finished wiring, we have done exactly same as that we shown in Tindercat. Now we need to do the coding for that, I am opening Arduino IDE. So this is the code that we are going to use. I am going to explain each line of code to you. The first line hash includes servo.h, it means actually by this line of code we have included certain header files for our servo to work. Without these header files our servo won't work. 
In the next line of code, we have named our servo as servo1. The third line of code is a void setup in which we have mentioned to which pin is our servo and our push buttons are connected. So our servo named servo1 is attached to pin number 6. We didn't use pin mode in order to uh, mention the connection. Instead we use servo1.attach. That's the function we need to use to indicate our pin number. Next we need to mention the pin of our push button. Therefore we are using the function pin mode. Here we have connected our push button to pin number 7 and it's going to be used as input pull up. Next in the void loop we have given an if function that is if digital read 7 is high that means if pin number 7 gives a high value or if the switch is turned off then the servo should write a 90 degree. For a 360 degree rotating servo 90 degree indicates stop. If the opposite is happening which is denoted by the else function if the opposite is happening that means if the switch is being pressed then the digital read will be low therefore the servo 1 should write 180 degree so let's see how this code will do so we will upload to our arduino and find out so let's press the switch and see okay so when we press the switch the servo is rotating in an anti clockwise direction so let's do one more thing let's Let's change the 180 degree to 0. We'll put 0 in the position of 180 degree and we'll see how it affects the rotation. So now when we press the button, it is rotating in clockwise direction. Now we have learned how to rotate a 360 degree servo in both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Okay guys, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys have learned something new and thank you for watching until the end. Wishing you all a happy new year. See you on the next video. Bye.